All right, a few days ago, some people were asking me about what the hell SSS means. Uh, it's basically one of my functions I have in my bash RC file. And let me show you an example of what they were talking about. SSS, and we search for a package, like we'll say doc or whatever the hell it is. And you see that they have the package name and they give you a little description of it or whatever, right? Um, I like this better. And this one is just uh, what well, the, the real command for this is aptitude search uh, aptitude is not installed by default anymore they got rid of it like a few years ago but aptitude is just much better than um, the other ones which I'll talk about in a few minutes but aptitude search and then you know doc um, or whatever you're looking for like image editor movie player whatever the hell it is All right let's say for example like put movie player or whatever the hell and I'll search for movie player now this thing search for everything in your repositories and you can see that it's much quicker right uh... they do have the alternative to this so app cache I, I know some people have told me about this one but this one is not really that efficient app cache show i mean search um, for let's say gnome do but this one is pretty useless they have an update to fix this uh, that's really annoying to me is that they show you the package like comp is and then they show you a little description but how the fuck do I know if it's already installed or not you don't know from here you know so that's why um, this other one was an aptitude search uh, let's say we search for gnome do right right and you see that they have this little P on the side or whatever here and they do have some V's here so I think for virtual P's, I'm not sure what the hell P means, but really all you gotta know is if you have the I next to it, that means it's already installed, and, and that's what I want to know. If, if I have it installed already, I can just skip that and I can go to the next one, you know. Um, so that's what I like about this thing. I use this on a daily basis. Is that I know which package I have installed. I know which one I don't. I can read a little bit of description on it if I wanted to, and it's much better than the other one. Okay. So that's one command uh, like that's uh, in aptitude is better than the app family. Um, the other one is, let me see here. This is the one I don't like either. App cache show. Let's say I want to get a description of it, like a longer description than just the brief one that they have. Uh, let's say for gnome pi, right? Now this one I don't like because it's showing me the same information uh, of the same packages but it's for different versions right look at this like this versions is a little different and if you have like more versions like four or five it's gonna keep doing the same shit and that's a really annoying and I don't like that as opposed to the alternative which I like better aptitude show and gnome dash oops gnome dash pi you see it shows me one time and that's it. I have the description, and this is what I use to uh, paste on YouTube if people actually read the description on the videos anymore. But this is usually what I paste in here. Um, so you see that this is much cleaner because it shows you one, and that's it. Makes more sense to me than repeating the same freaking crap. Um, so that's another command I like is aptitude show. Uh, the last one I'll talk about is app cache and this one is to f like you know show the uh, versions of it uh, relatively simple so app cache policy and then you search for the package All right so numpy again and this one you can tell that this one it'll tell you that this version is installed and they have different versions here so one version two version now even this is kind of messy and I'll show you why as compared to the alternative aptitude um, it's just called versions and then you go for gnome dash pi look at that this all this line versus this two line and it tells me the same information uh, sometimes even more uh, so you see that this right is the version I have because you can see that there's an I next to it and they tell you the branch so if I say oh I'm using oneric branch or if you're using like app pending they'll tell you like you're using natty 
or Maverick or whatever the hell it is uh, if you're you're pinning and they give you the priority real quick too right so this one has a higher priority which I haven't updated but um, there you go uh, in the hierarchy of, of app pinning right uh, so that's why I like this one you know another aptitude feature that uh, is just superior than the other what they have in here app family here they got app get that fast whatever and you know I just like aptitude better uh, because of those three things that I use on a daily basis of course when you're doing this you know you go aptitude search uh, let's say gnome do now if you do that like you search for gnome and do this one will basically search for two strings it'll search for gnome and then do and it combines a list that's why you see a long ass list right now right uh, with my uh, functions is basically using one string and it's just uh, put it in quotations like this and you can see that it narrows it down quicker to just a few packages so you can look at it quickly and you know if you say oh this is the package I'm looking for gnome do okay and you just go sudo aptitude oops aptitude uh, install and then gnome do and then you know push enter type in your password done that's it um, so yeah the, this is what I use I don't use that uh, what is that what they have software center crap and they got rid of synaptic already which you could install but I heard it was broken now and the software center you know I, the other thing I don't like about the software center is that um, uh, what is that the uh, it doesn't display all the packages so it's, it's pretty much a useless package manager if you don't display all the you know the packages that you can install um, so that's another reason why I don't like it and it's bloated and it's buggy uh, from what I hear so the only thing I like about it is the comment section because a lot of people talk trash in there and if someone can uh, make a program you know from the command line for me to access uh, you know the uh, comment section that that'll be really cool, man. Because I want to read all the trash talking in there. <laughs> um, so this is what I'm using, you know. And, and let me show you my um, uh, my uh, function, so you can actually put this in your bash rc file. So my function is just um, you know sss uh, the parentheses, and you have the what is it the swiggly containers here. And then everything inside it is just my command, right? And you just put this into your uh, home folder. It will just call dot bash rc file, and that's it. And now you just type in sss, uh, and then search for your package. The sss idea came from uh, my limited time with Arch Linux because I use Pacman ss, so I just added sss. That's it. Anyways, long ramble. If you want to use it. You know, get a get a uh, pop up uh, or pop down terminal like Geek here, and type it in. Search for your package, install uh, without opening the GUI, and it's much quicker and more efficient, in my opinion. But you have to put it to practice. If you don't, you know, use this, then it's not going to be beneficial to you. Okay, that's it for this one.